I want to talk to you about typing. You clicked on this video because you want to increase your typing speed. I'm not going to give you any generic video. This video is going to include every single insight I have on becoming a faster typist. And if you follow through with the recommendations I give you now, you're going to be well on your way to becoming a speed typist. Before we talk about how you can type faster, I want to talk about a few things that don't really matter to speed typing. The first of those is keyboards. While well, keyboards are very fun and there's a big hobby around them for mechanical keyboard builders, it doesn't matter whether you have a $10 keyboard, a $100 keyboard, a laptop keyboard, the kind of keyboard you use does not affect your typing speed. The second thing that does not matter to your typing speed is the kind of layout that you use. And I know that this might seem a bit controversial. There are a few layouts out there such as Dvorak, QWERTY, Colmac, Workman, among a few others. Generally, if you want to learn a new layout, I am all for it. You can go and learn a new layout, but I'm telling you right now that the kind of layout you're using does not much have an effect on the typing speed that you are going to eventually reach. And I would probably stick with QWERTY at this point if you're someone who's a beginner. Though if, if you've started another layout and that's your fastest layout, by all means, continue with the layout. Last thing that does not matter is your age. You could be someone who is a very young kid. You could be a parent of a kid who is wanting to type faster. Even if you're someone who is already maybe in your 50s or 60s or 70s. Learning typing is still something that is gonna be very, very valuable to you in the future, and I would definitely recommend that you still continue or start your typing journey. The first thing I wanna talk about is technique. Look down at your keyboard. You'll notice that there are two bumps, one on the F key and one on the J key. This is for a reason. Put both of your pointer fingers the left one on the F key and the right one on the J key. Then simply spread the rest of your fingers out across the keyboard going F, D, S, A, and J, K, L. There, you have put your fingers on the proper position for home row technique. Now look at this keyboard map that is playing on the screen. You can see that each key is assigned to an individual finger. For example, I'm hitting the I key with my middle finger. I'm hitting the W key with my fourth finger on my left hand. And you wanna be able to follow this map as much as possible, especially when you are starting out in your typing journey. I think that learning typing comes down to three categories. And the first one is a website that you're learning technique on, which is typing.com and typing club. This is where you're gonna start when you're under 20 words per minute. In between your 20 and 40 to 50 words per minute range, this is when you're gonna be wanting, wanting to spend the most amount of time on keyboard.com, which is gonna help you build up different key combinations. It's gonna be very useful to you later on when you have the basic muscle memory. So you're solidifying that te technique that you've built on typing.com or typing club by using keyword. Once you've surpassed probably about 50 words per minute, maybe even 60 words per minute, and then you can move on to websites such as Monkey Type, Type Racer, or Nitro Type, and those are the websites that's gonna help you build your speed. I'm gonna be expanding a lot on that in this video. That's just the basic structure for learning typing. The first website is typing.com. This website is basically teaching the fundamentals of where your fingers should lay across the keys. It'll first basically go through all of the different letters and slowly incorporate them until finally you can type at maybe a very low speed, but you can still type with proper homework technique for QWERTY. Now, if you're not a big fan of typing.com, another alternative to this website is Typing Club, but they both serve essentially the same purpose. Once you've gotten the technique down, I would recommend going to keyword.com. I think overall this website is overrated, but still it is a website that is probably essential to learning a new technique. And I think it's more beneficial, especially if you're adult and you don't have as much time to spend on typing a day. Now, like I said before, what typing.com does is teach you which keys your fingers should be hitting. And what Keyboard does is it teaches you tricky and difficult letter combinations. So when you're starting out, it might give you words that only include the A, S, maybe T, E, and R combinations. Most of the words that they feed you are not actually words, they're just random combinations from these letters. And slowly they'll train you to incorporate more and more of these letters into your typing until you can type fairly confidently with muscle memory throughout your whole keyboard. So the second thing that you need to focus on is daily practice. And I cannot stress how important this daily practice actually is to your typing. Now, a common thing that I find is when people learn proper technique, they'll be really inconsistent with the amount of practice that they'll do. They'll be really motivated at the start, but eventually burn out because they've spent two hours a day on typing. You need to find a uh, amount of time that you can spend per day that is going to be consistent for a month or a couple months or even maybe half a year. For me, when I'm learning a new layout, it is maybe half an hour or 15 minutes a day. And just set that small amount of time that you know you're gonna be able to consistently meet every single day that you practice typing. Now, which websites should you practice this daily typing on? And there are three main ones that I would recommend. 
The first of those is Nitrotype, and this is the main website I used when I was a younger kid, though this is, keep in mind, aimed at younger children. The second website is Type Racer, which is a bit more of an outdated website, but it, I think it's one of the oldest typing websites. And then the third is Monkey Type, which is relatively new, which was just, I think, launched this spring. Now, do not just use one of these websites exclusively. I think that uh, there are specific strengths that each website has that I'll be talking about right away. First of all, with Nitrotype, I think that Nitrotype develops raw speed more than anything. It is a game mainly designed for children in classrooms. However, one of the fastest typists in the world, Raptor, got very, very fast because of using the website Nitrotype. Now, if your goal isn't to become the fastest website in the world through raw speed, Nitrotype probably isn't one of the best websites for you to use, but I am an advocate for it as it was the website that helped me um, increase my speed. I think one of the reasons that Nitrotype has been so successful is because it motivates you to stay on the website through teams, dealerships, your garage. Now the second website I want to talk about is Type Racer. And I think Type Racer develops uh, two skills. The first one of those is real world typing and the second one of those is accuracy. Now what is real world typing? And real world typing is basically the typing that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So send an email or if you're a college student, writing an essay paper. Uh, and real world typing I think is what Type Racer helps develop because Type Racer forces you to backspace whenever you make an error. For example, when I'm sending an email, I will probably always backspace when I do make an error. But I think also Type Racer incentivizes you to have better accuracy because if you make a mistake, you have to backspace. So then I'm incentivized to make less mistakes in the website, which is why I think Type Racer has been such a successful website. Again, Type Racer, it is a racing website, so kids might be incentivized to use it, um, though I think that many kids would prefer Nitrotype for a website. So yes, Type Racer is one of the oldest typing websites. Uh, I think it was created in like 2009, and uh, it has been one of the most popular websites, uh, though I think it is declining in popularity. Now, the third website I want to talk about is monkeytype.com. Monkeytype.com is a website that was created very, very recently, uh, like I said, in the spring. And lots of keyboard builders, for example, streamers on Twitch, such as Tahia Types, use the website. Uh, I guess that's one of the main proponents for the website, but it is also the fastest growing type typing website in the world today. And I think that there are a few reasons for this. Monkeytype is very basic at its core. It's simply a typing website with three lines across the like the screen, and you're typing those lines out. Uh, and it's very, very simplistic in its design. And one thing that I love about Monkey Type is how dedicated the developer is to actually improving the website. He is so hardworking with all his code, and he's constantly adding new things. His name is Myodeck. Uh, the website is open source, so if you're someone who knows code and can contribute on GitHub, you can go ahead and do that. It's just great to see him dedicated to the website, and there are improvements that he continues to pump out every single week, and that's what makes Monkey Type such a great website, because it has a great developer. You can customize the test, so 10 words, 25 words, 50 words, 100 words, or time test, so 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. There is a leaderboard for monkey type, so if you're a faster typist, it's very motivating to compete. If you're not, it's a bit harder to get on. So that's the, I think that's the core of monkey type. However, you can literally customize anything on the website. And I think that when you go a bit deeper, monkey type is a lot more complicated, but a lot more user friendly. You can change the color of the website. You can turn on key map. You can have a live caret that will move along as you type to your personal best. You can customize so many things on the website and the list is still going on and on. Monkey Type is the most user-friendly typing website in my opinion in the world uh, and it will continue to grow as a typing website so that's really exciting to see. So those are the three websites that I'd really recommend that you use. Nitrotype, Type Racer, and Monkey Type and spread your practice out that you're doing daily across those three websites. Developing raw speed on Nitrotype, developing your accuracy in real world typing on Type Racer, and having some fun and basically, you know, getting your standard typing test in, uh, maybe trying for new personal bests for a 60 second test on monkey type. Now, the reason that daily practice is so beneficial is because it builds up what is called muscle memory. And muscle memory is basically when you see a word, such as the word building, my hands can go to the keyboard and know how to type out that word immediately. Now, this might be on a smaller scale, for example, maybe just only two letter combinations like S and E or A and T. But muscle memory is the ability to see it word on a screen and then be able to continually type it faster with where your fingers, when they see this word, know exactly where to go on the keyboard. Now, usually when you start out typing, uh, if you don't have any prior typing experience, 
uh, and you're using proper technique, you're gonna be stuck at around 25 to 40 words per minute for a while. Um, and I find experience this every time I'm learning a new uh, keyboard layout, especially. And you cannot get bogged down at this point. Uh, it, it, it's a very, very easy thing for lots of typists to go off the rails here and just stop learning typing simply because they're not seeing any improvement for even up to two months, depending on the amount of daily practice that they do on typing. But I can promise you that if you are using nine to 10 fingers, using the proper homework technique that you learned on keyboard or that you learned on typing.com or typing club. And as long as you keep up the daily practice, slowly your math summary is going to start to develop and then you're going to be able, then you're going to be seeing lots of development in your typing. I experienced this firsthand as a typist. I was not improving for a very long time, stuck at around 25 words per minute. But as soon as I kept up the daily practice on NitroType, I was able to improve getting to within 100 words per minute within the first six months. This is why I like Netshirt as a website, but I realize that more, in more recent times I've been able to increase in websites like Monkey Type and accuracy has increased as a result of using websites like Type Racer. So on a personal level, I would say that you cannot let just staying at the same words minute bog you down. You must remember that once you develop that muscle memory, you're going to start skyrocketing as a typist. Now, if you're someone who finds yourself stuck at 80 to 120 words per minute, which I think lots of typists commonly do, you might be wondering, how is this video actually useful to me? Because I've already learned technique, I've been using these websites for a while, uh, I'm typing properly, I, I have checked all the boxes, but I'm still not improving at around the speed range. And the biggest tip I can give to you here is to improve your raw word sprint. And this is basically your ability to keep on pushing the limits for your typing. Raw word sprint is basically your peak capacity. So even if you have to sacrifice accuracy at this point, if your accuracy is already decent before this, it shouldn't matter much. You wanna keep on pushing that barrier, set goals for yourself, Push your raw words minute. Monkey Type is a great website to do this. Keep on pushing those personal bests every single day. Try to type just all out as fast as you possibly can. Words 10 test is a great example for this. Work on that bursting speed, which is also raw speed. And I'm sure that you'll find yourself continuing to improve. 